If you care about what is being taught to our children, or even to us as adults, from those who are supposed to be Christians, please watch this video. By the end you will be left stunned. What we think is good, and from God, is actually just another ploy to mislead. We are going to show you how the most popular music artist in the so-called, safe Christian genre, could be leading us down the path of deception. It is said in the Bible that Satan is the greatest liar ever. He will deceive those who think they are doing right. He will lead them to fall from the path to salvation. Let's get started. Notably, the most popular Christian artist in the world is none other than Lauren Daigle. She has multiple number one hits and even finds herself crossing over into the mainstream with some of her songs playing on top 40 stations and ranking high on the Billboard charts. She is a true powerhouse in the industry. Lauren is not without controversy. She has had moments that have made many Christians question her sincerity as a believer in Christ. In 2018, the singer outraged some Christian conservative fans when she performed on lesbian host Ellen DeGeneres' talk show. Shortly after, she faced more backlash when she wouldn't call homosexuality a sin, telling a radio interviewer, I'm not God. In a People magazine interview, she said, We had a show at Carnegie Hall right after that, and there was a father who looked at me with tears falling down his cheeks. He said, My church said, You either choose to stand up for your gay son, or you stick with the church. He whispered to me, I'll never reject my child, Daigle recalls. You see the ache that so many have felt in having to stand up for who they are against the powers that be. I just want people to feel accepted and safe. So, is she just misunderstood? Is she just showing the compassion that Jesus tells us to share? I think there is more to it. The phrase, feel safe, has exploded over the last decade. Universities have even created safe spaces for students. The need to feel safe, though important, does not greenlight a person to commit disgusting sins in the eyes of the Father. The entire feel-safe narrative has caused many Christians to be afraid to even attempt to spread the word of God today. Feel-safe is the new catchphrase. What it actually means is do not push your Christian beliefs on people who do not know God. It may seem like a compassionate way to not cause people to feel outcast or threatened, but true compassion is when we share the word of God and give people a chance to have everlasting life with Jesus Christ. So, is Lauren spreading the Lord's word or the word of the world? Now, let's talk about our main focus of this video, her music. The entire point of the Christian music genre is to praise Jesus, feel the Holy Spirit, and to let God in through song. If you have never noticed, Lauren does not mention the name of Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, the Bible, or anything holy in her lyrics. Now, some may jump here and say, what about her song, Thank God I Do, it mentions God. Well, yes, he is mentioned, but only to thank him for allowing her to know someone else. The words are not meant as a praise, but more like when someone says, thank God for that, or thank God you're here, etc. I will leave the lyrics to many of her top songs in the description, so you can go through them with a fine-tooth comb. When you do, I think you will be shocked. Now, let's talk about the meaning of some of her songs. Thank God I Do is one of her most recent releases. So let's read some of the lyrics. Let's see what the message is. You're my safe place. My hideaway. You're my anchor. My saving grace. You're my constant. My steadiness. You're my shelter. My oxygen. I don't know who I'd be if I didn't know you. Thank God I do. So, if you hear this, it all sounds like God is everything to her, until the end, when she says thank God I do. This is a song thanking God that there is a certain someone in her life, not praising the Lord. This use of thank God is a worldly use of the phrase like we mentioned earlier. This one line changes the entire song and its meaning. One small change and the entire song could have been praise and worship. Now, how about another big release, Trust in You? Once again we will find what seem to be very powerful words. Yet, with no mention of who she is actually talking about it is left open-ended. Let's read this verse. Letting go of every single dream. I lay each one down at your feet. Every moment of my wandering never changes what you see. I've tried to win this war, I confess. My hands are weary, I need your rest. Mighty warrior, king of the fight. 
no matter what I face, you're by my side. So, this is a repeated theme throughout her music. You may think we are overreacting, but when you see song after song use the same style of saying the worship type things, yet never confessing who you are worshiping, these words could be meant for anyone. So let's talk about the possible reasons for this type of writing. It could be nothing but a coincidence, but I don't think it is. Rather, I am very sure it is not. See, today, the big money is made in the top 40 genre. We have seen artists use the Christian space as a jumping point then try to make the move to mainstream, such as Amy Grant, who herself has been loaded with controversy for holding a gay wedding at her house. So, it's all in the lyrics. To go mainstream, you can't use words like God, Jesus, and so on. The stations will simply not play it. Lauren finds herself trying to make the jump, and she has on occasion had success in Top 40. She is walking a tight rope trying to keep her Christian fans happy while still producing music that could go mainstream. When you actually look at this, she is committing a terrible sin. She is intentionally not praising God, as she should, through her music. She is masking her dreams in Christian music. She is putting her dreams ahead of what the Lord wants us to do. She makes sure she says the right things in public so as not to offend the woke community. Lauren started out on American Idol, where she made two attempts at fame. She is living in a world where her own wants and desires are dictating the things she says and does. She is not living in God's light. All of her songs could be fixed with one or two simple changes that would not affect the sound and beauty of her music, but it would indeed destroy any chance of mainstream success. When we put money, power, and fame ahead of God, we are putting other gods in front of our one true God, and this is a very dangerous place to be in. Let's just take one more quick look at some of her lyrics. I Will Rescue You was a massive hit for her. Once again, we have this same style of writing. Have a listen. I hear you whisper underneath your breath. I hear your SOS, your SOS. I will send out an army to find you. In the middle of the darkest night. It's true, I will rescue you. I will never stop marching to reach you. In the middle of the hardest fight. It's true, I will rescue you. So, always keep in mind, money is a god. People worship it. It is sad, but the Christian music arena is also dictated by money and power. When you choose to listen to music, use your own judgment on if it is actually praise and worship. You cannot trust that a station like K-Love will choose wisely for you. They want to make money and they praise Lauren as one of the greatest. As far as popularity, she is. Trust me, being popular or famous is not required to be saved. Spreading the word of God in everything you do is. You can't choose to call yourself a follower of Jesus, then be ashamed to talk about him in fear of alienation. That is actually part of the great falling away foretold in the Bible. Please, tell us what you think of all of this in the comments. We would love it if you gave us a like and subscribe to help us spread these important messages. I hope you will join us in a prayer today as we end. Father, thank you for all of our daily blessings. Let us always strive to show you how much we appreciate them. Father, we know in these end times that Satan will use every way possible to lead us astray. Please help us to be wise and to not fall into this trap. Give us the discernment to see through these webs of deception and to stay on your path. Let us never be afraid to spread your holy word or to worry about upsetting the world. Father, be with our brethren in the Jewish community as they struggle. Keep us safe from the evil one. In Jesus' name, amen.